uh, my first question is to how to get the khushu in the salah. Because the moment we say Allahu Akbar, the shaitan comes Allah. into it and start reminding us of all the things which we have missed and which we are supposed to do. And the best part is, the moment we finish the salah, we'll forget what we just written this thing. So, how do we get in khushu in the salah? Habibi, mashallah, what a beautiful question. Jazakumullah khair. Really, it reminds me of the brother that asked a question about women and so on. I've had youngsters who say, every time I say Allahu Akbar, you know, my honey just comes in my head, you know, and I just busy, oh, when will I see her and what will I do? And astaghfirullah, that's shaitan that's just got hold of us. So, what do you do? Number one, you ask Allah's guidance. That's always there. It's Allah. It's Allah who grants it. But you take a look at the excess items we do on a daily basis, try and cut them out. So if you lower your gaze, the chances of you concentrating in salah are far more. And if, for example, you, and I'm not saying if you don't, if you lower your gaze, you will be able to concentrate because there are other factors as well. But it's one point. Another thing is, if you have too many things that you're doing in life, your concentration in salah will be less because it's, your, your day is filled without any order and you're thinking of so many things, you're not calm, you're not collected, you haven't written down things sometimes, and you've got to think of so many things, and you're worried. Let me give you an example. If you have 20 things to do, and you've written them on a piece of paper, your mind has less in it, because you know you'll refer to the paper, and you tick it off. But when you haven't, and you're relying on your brain, and this is an honest example, 20 things are there. When you start salah, you're remembering the 20 things I need to do, and then you're starting to say, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, and so on. And I'm busy thinking my 20 things. As soon as I'm finished my salah, hey, these 20 things here, and I start checking, what's it, what's it? So what have I done? I've increased in my mind, put in something that I could have just put on a piece of paper and held, held it. A lot of us don't have a piece of paper. We just want to remember things. So there's no barakah in our day. I'm not saying you have to have a piece of paper, but today you have technology. You can, you know, put it onto your phone. You can put it, you can delegate it. It's like a man who has a business and his business has grown and he wants to be the head of every department. His business will come crashing. You have to delegate. You have to start uh, developing it in such a way that you have a head of department who will do the small worries of every day. They will handle you. They report to you. If there's something big, you can handle it because now you're the CEO. But the problem with us is we want to handle every aspect of everything. Then when we get to salah, no concentration. So number one, to remove a lot of, to call out to Allah, to ask Allah, to remove a lot of the excess thoughts and excess baggage that perhaps we have. Then what we also need to know is uh, to increase the understanding of the Quran so that when you are reading salah, uh, or fulfilling the salah, uh, whatever you are saying, you know the meaning of it. The minute that happens, you, the chances of you dwindling in terms of concentration minimizes. Because I know when I say Allahu Akbar, I enjoy that. Oh, my maker is the greatest. The worshipped one is the greatest. He is definitely the greatest. And then I'm saying, Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Or any other dua, Allahumma ba'id bayni wa bayna khatayai. Or, wajjahtu wajhiya lilladhi fatara samawati wal ard. Whatever, whatever you're reading. And then your Surah Al-Fatiha. And I'm concentrating on the meaning and I know a lot about it. So increase your knowledge of what is being recited in Salah and fulfilled. By the will of Allah, it will help you a lot. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us. I've mentioned three or four points. There are a lot of other pointers that perhaps you would get. And I'm so happy that you've asked because it's actually revived uh, my own commitment to concentration in Salah. It happens to all of us. You know, you've got to catch a flight and you, Allahu Akbar, and you wonder, I wonder what the time is, you know, I wonder what the time is, you know. I recall once I was the Imam uh, at, at an airport and uh, I, I led the Salah and I have a habit that when you are an Imam at the airport, make the shortest possible Salah. The reason is people are catching a flight at the back. And so I made a very short salah. And I was sitting after that and there was a certain brother who spoke to me. And he said, you know, I was in such and such an airport. And there was one imam and he started leading salah. And he was leading so long that one by one the people started walking away. You know, <laughs> because what happened is I have a flight to catch. This guy is reading a long surah. He just looks at his clock and he's gone. Astaghfirullah. So you need to know. Even when there is an imam and all those who may be imams, think very carefully. It's better to have a shorter salah with concentration than to go on and on and on. I remember the first time when I was in Medina Munawwara and uh, we had Salatul Kusuf. You know, the Salah of the Eclipse. And the Imam was reading Surah Al-Baqarah. And he started and he was going on and on. MashaAllah. And you know what? And then he says, Allahu Akbar, he's Sami Allahu Liman Hamida and he's reading, he's reading again and he goes on and on. And the people who joined were not expecting that. So I remember clearly in front of me there was a man, a boy, a youngster, who picked out his bottle of water, opened it and had a sip and he put it back. And I'm busy thinking, does this guy know what he did? 
And you know, after salah, I told him, I said, you drank water? He said, no, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, he said, this shows concentration, no concentration because it's prolonged. And I said, I swear you drank water. Do you have water in your, in your pocket? He said, yes, I do. I said, look at it. He looked at it and it was half. He said, hey, when did I drink the water? <laughs> so that's the thing. So may Allah help us to, 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 to increase, inshallah, our concentration in salah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all, really. And this is why we always tell the imams, you know, like I just said. Allah, wallahu a'lam. Jazakallah khair. Barakallah